Jan. I'm Tracy, and we are in Craylin Dyke, Bonaire. Yeah, and Bonaire is actually part of what they call the ABC Islands. That is Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. That's just all the way down at 12 degrees latitude, just to the north of South America, and the uh, southern Les uh, Lesser Antilles of the Caribbean. And right behind me is the carnival celebration, but we are not here on a cruise. Instead, we are here at the Buddy Dive Resort. And this resort has been here since 1980, and it serves all of your scuba diving needs on the island. Yeah, and the reason is because if you come to Bonaire, one of the things you want to do is go scuba diving. And the reason is because Bonaire is the shore diving capital of the world. The, the diving is exquisite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you to five spots. They're not necessarily the best spots, that they are very, very good, but five pretty accessible uh, spots to go dive, to give you an idea of the diving that is here. Now, we did a, a resort vacation here where we had a, a, a rental vehicle. Certainly what we're gonna do is we're gonna show how you actually can travel uh, to uh, each one of these spots. And then if you're actually staying on the island for several days um, how to basically take your rental car to those understand that if you are on a, 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 a cruise ship you probably will not be able to rent a truck most of the places only rented for three or more days so you're not going to be able to do that but we've talked to several of the dive providers here and there is no shortage of dive providers you can make arrangements have them pick you up at the uh, the port and take you to uh, two or three uh, of these uh, dive sites, depending upon how long your ship is in port. When we were doing some investigating and talking to some of the dive shops, we found that the excursion prices to do one to three tank dives is probably less than what you're gonna pay on a ship excursion anyway. So definitely something to check out. Something that was observed in Bonaire last year and is happening throughout the Caribbean is something known as stony coral tissue loss disease or skill D. This is a disease that's caused either by a virus or a bacteria or a combination of both that actually affects the, uh, the hard uh, coral uh, around the island. Now, STINAPA, which is the organization that helps protect the coral, has put in two mandatory requirements for all divers coming to Bonaire in order to try to lessen the spread of this disease to the coral. The first requirement for all divers is to do a mandatory chlorine wash of all of your scuba gear before you get into the water and after you leave, followed by a clean water rinse. Now the second requirement is that Stanapa has color-coded each of the dive sites on Bonaire based upon whether it is green, orange, or red. And those colors are based upon the prevalence of the disease. Now if you are going to dive in green, that's fine. You can go and dive in green all you want, and then you can go do an orange. But once you dive an orange site, you can no longer that day go and dive a green site, but you can go and do a red site. If you do a red dive, that means you can no longer go and do a orange or a green site that day until you have rinsed your gear and then come back the next day. So because of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our five sites based upon green, orange, and then red sites here, which, which is actually a buddy dive. Unfortunately, the color codes have changed for these five dive sites since July. As of October, these are the color categories. So we have arrived at our first dive site. This is Alice in Wonderland. It is a green site, just as Invisibles is, which is going to be our second dive site. What this means is, is if you start diving here, you can dive at any of the open dive sites on Bonaire. Because remember, once you go to orange or red, you cannot go back uh, to a green site. Now, this is actually a pretty easy site. And, and uh, not only it is it an easy to, to dive, it is easy to find. As you move south along the coastal, the western coastal, Road uh, south of Cryland Dyke. Once you start to see the salt pier, you know that you're coming close to it. Now, a wonderful thing that they've done here on Bonaire is all the dive sites are marked by yellow stones along the side of the road that clearly identify what is the dive site. And what we recommend is you get this Reef Smart Guides. Uh, a book. This is, book is fantastic. Not only will it sh uh, talk about each of the dive sites here in Bonaire, it'll talk about how you access it, it'll talk about how you should dive it. Uh, it's just a really great resource. Now, if you look here where you're in the parking area where I'm standing here, the entry looks pretty treacherous, but the entry is actually 
back along the path here, and it's just a sandy opening, and you're gonna go out to this uh, yellow uh, buoy, and then that's where the dive begins. And we recommend always take your compass and kind of shoot an azimuth from the buoy, their starting point, back to your entry exit point, or you can turtle it. You come up to the surface, you kind of figure out where you are, and you continue coming on out of the water. Right, so this is our second dive site. This is Invisibles, which is two dive sites to the south of Salt Pier. Now, although Alice in Wonderland was actually pretty easy to go into, this is kind of a step up in difficulty to go into. The reason is because there is uh, a kind of a rock ledge and you have a kind of a, a bit of a step down and there's some rocks in there, you have to be careful. But here's the thing, take it easy, take it slow, and it won't be a problem. Uh, watch the surf as you're coming out of the water because that's where tumbles can happen. Now, one of the things we did is we brought walking sticks, and uh, that would allow you to kind of balance yourself uh, as the surf is coming in. And what we did is we used bungee cords to be able to put those onto the back of your partner's dive cylinder. Now, one of the things we did is some people would just get bungee cords and tie it. We actually went to Walmart, and they have a assortment of different bungee cords, and the small black ones with the ball on it uh, is absolutely the right size to be able to do so. site is the salt pier. It's named this obviously because of the salt pier structure behind me. This is where all of the salt gets shipped in and out of the island. This is an orange site. That means that you can no longer go back to green sites like Alice in Wonderland and Invisibles. There's several entrances into the, uh, the shore diving here. This one was a little bit harder than the other ones. We had heard if we'd gone on the south side it would have been a little bit easier. site is something special. This is a red site, which means once you go into a red site, you can no longer go into any of the green or orange sites. Although it is not the easiest one to find, once you actually get here, it is the easiest one to get in and out of the water. And the sea life is really exciting down under the water.
And finally, we're at Buddy Dive, where we've been for the week. Uh, this is a red dive site, and I'll tell you, if you really only gonna do one or two dives, uh, this is just a really, really easy dive. Uh, there's lots of coral, there's lots of critters. So the first day we were here, we saw an, uh, an octopus. Um, and, oh, by the way, it is uh, unlike many of the other places, such as Invisibles or at uh, the Salt Pier, which can be a little tricky here. All you have to do is go down a ladder, and it's very, very simple. Uh, usually there's absolutely no uh, current. We had very slight current the entire time. It is just a wonderful place. Plus, you're able to come here, you're able to uh, go to the restaurant here and get some lunch. Now, if you're not staying at the resort, there is a $10 per person charge that they will charge for you to come onto the premises, but I think it's really kind of worth it. So before we leave Bonaire and all the discussion of the great shore diving, we forgot to talk about the wonderful boat diving you can have here. These trips will usually visit sites on the island of Klein Bonaire and up on the northern part of the main island. While we come back up to change to a new tank, go on to watch this video of another one of our adventures and keep a lookout for our tour of the Buddy Dive Resort that is coming up. And as always, keep on traveling. Bye.